Custom prompts can take your writing to the next level. Let's get into it. So I was using Zimrider's Pin Arcade to write an article on this boom arm. It's actually this boom arm. Anyway, Zimrider creates an article like this and I automated it so it turned the markdown into HTML. I'll give you the quick rundown. I copy the link to say this Amazon product for uh, this 4K webcam. I paste the article at the top here into Zimwriter. It gives me a nice article in Markdown. And then this beautiful thing automatically converts it into a WordPress site. And then which you can download it in our community so you don't have to build it yourself. Prints it off and sends it off to Pinterest to make Pinterest boards. And then I have all of these automatically created for me that are linking back to my website. And I put very little effort into this, so I'm gonna definitely scale this, but I've already received nine clicks and 1200 impressions. And so by default, Zimrider is amazing, but with custom prompts now, oh man, I'm gonna show you what you can do to save yourself a bunch of time. So I have the custom prompt editor here, and as you can see, I have a custom prompt for intro. Custom. You can see that I said, create my Amazon link by adding the affiliate link plus the Amazon store ID, which is this, and then do not give any other response. And so I did it for that arm, and as you can see, it says here, check out your Amazon link, and I put it right here. And then on the very end, because I put it in the intro, I put it for the conclusion, and it should be down here, right here. Uh, you can purchase it through my affiliate link right at the conclusion. So pretty neat stuff. And if we take that markdown code and transfer it to HTML, you can see right here, it has a clickable link. And at the very bottom here, it does also have a clickable link. You can purchase it through my affiliate link. So pretty awesome. So I'm gonna test this prompt out. It's gonna say, choose a number between one and 100. If it's one through 30, uh, 33, then red response to invite people to the group for our community. And if it's 34 through 100, then no need to make a response. I'm actually gonna do that for transitions. All right, so it, that time I put it under actually subheadings. And if we scroll down, you can see that right here, it says, if you're interested in joining with our community, consider joining our community, we'd love to have you. Uh, so there's one. Uh, so right there, it gave us one out of the one, two, three subheadings. So pretty good stuff. Uh, and I didn't have to do anything, so I love that it automatically added that. Also, I highly recommend reading the article on custom prompts because you do need to know how the structure works for transitions versus normal headers. Also, you need to know how the custom prompt design works where the text that is going being fed into ChatGPT or any large language model is then being modified by your uh, prompt. So for instance, for mine, it's a simple prompt and it's not really fixing anything. It's more of a, um, adding its own uh, element to that. So um, yeah, it, there's a lot of cool things you can do with custom prompts. So I created this GPT that will create custom prompts for you uh, so you don't have to think. So I, like for instance, I, on the left-hand side, the configuration, I just downloaded the custom prompts from uh, from Zimwriter, so this whole thing, and turned it into a PDF, and then I uploaded it to uh, ChatGPT, and then I added it to our community, so if you're in our community, you can actually get this uh, completely for free, so you have access to it, and you can make your own custom prompt, but let me show you how it works. So let's just say you're an Amazon affiliate. Create a prompt. For me, at me, I am an Amazon affiliate. And so what it will do is it'll create the naming. So you'll copy the squiggly brackets right here. And then it says provide a product review for an Amazon in a niche, include the affiliate link by adding the prompt ID plus the URL tags. So you'll wanna obviously add your uh, affiliate tag there, emphasize the product benefits and why it stands out from competitors. So it's a little much, I'm probably gonna slim that down. Uh, so it's not as much, probably should only do one thing. So pretty cool. All right, so I updated it and now you can see that it says, create me a prompt for a roofing blog or a roofing company. And these are pretty good. Highlight a case study with a roofing company saved $1,000. Uh, I think you would have a case study like that 
uh, and then write a summary of roof inspections. And you can obviously say of the summary. So I think these are really good that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And uh, anyone with the link, so that is go ahead and save that to the community. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this, go to our community and boom, save that for everyone to use. So if you want to have that, you can. And then uh, we're gonna check it out. So uh, create me, me a prompt for a stay at home mom blogger. Search in the knowledge base and boom, CP mom life balance, right? Eight, how managing time efficiently for a stay at home mom include one personal tip or strategy that helped maintain balance. One tip, that's perfect. And then you can just put that prompt in the custom prompt editor right here and then name your prompt. So as you can see, the CP, we've already created that with the uh, custom GPT that will create it for you. And then you can just save it and then place it wherever you want. If that's in the conclusion, the heading, the transitions, wherever that is for you, you now have your own custom GPT prompt generator for Zimwriter. And now you can do some fun things to fancy up your blogs. And now these articles will be even more custom and tailored to show facts, give relevant information, all sorts of stuff. And I can automate it through Zimwriter, uploading it to Google Drive, just using by uh, the output, and then having it go down into Markdown for HTML, and then send it to WordPress and then Pinterest and then have it create images and all of that by using a Zim Writer. It is fantastic. So that's a little bit about custom prompts and how you can use custom prompts and a prompt, I guess, a generator that I created that you guys can have completely for free. Uh, so you're welcome. So that you can make your blogs even better. So I'm very excited about all of the things that Zimwriter can do and how you can combine it with make.com, which I've included all the links down below so that you can create amazing blog articles. I want more people to get the most out of Zimwriter. It has a lot of amazing functions. So I, I am creating a playlist somewhere around here. So definitely check that out uh, if it's definitely helpful to you give it a thumbs up. If it's not, then uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, maybe next time I will be able to supply something that is more helpful or just leave it a comment down below on something that you are looking for that maybe will solve your problem and I'll create a video on it. So until next time guys, remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.